So, Jim, do you think that hand would be uh, useful in your daily activities? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just, it's say you just got to, like the Autobahn, you got to practice and yeah. learn how to do it. I think what's interesting to note here is, is the uh, battery on this is one of the older batteries, the Bach batteries. We would drain that a little bit faster since we are utilizing five individual motors. Our battery a little bit uh, has a little bit more oomph to it. Yeah, you could uh, operate this, you know, it's slower, faster, whatever. I think it's cool. Can you guys shake hands? Oh yeah, yeah. It's definitely. Oh. Haven't done that in a while, have you? Yeah. No. That thing there would say sometimes you got a mind of its own and just keep you going. Yeah. <laughs> you stop this real easy. Yeah, you, you're not going to have that problem with this. No, hand here. This, is, this is really nice. Fantastic. So, any questions from our producer out there? Um, I had better questions before. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, is this uh, operated by just the microelectrodes, or is there other processes going on, like computer computerized processes? Very good question. The uh, hand itself, and I'm going to take this fairing off. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's, let's pop this off of you for a second. Just the quick connect spins and pulls. Uh, the hand itself is a, a chassis for the digits. <coughs> Each digit is, uh, and I don't know if we can get a picture of that, but it does have a, a, a little screw mm -hmm. there. It's screwed into the, the chassis. Uh, what this allows the, uh, the hand to uh, be able to do is individually change the digits. Uh, if one of the digits is, is broken or damaged, they can be popped out and another one replaced so the patient doesn't need to send the hand back. Um, they can leave and then the digits return to Touch Bionics and we uh, will uh, repair it. Uh, the circuitry for the hand is, is, is back here. And uh, each digit is just plugged right into the chassis of the hand. Uh, you see this bay here. This bay will eventually be filled with a, another motor that will allow the patient to manipulate it um, automatically instead of manually. The hand itself weighs about 1.1 pounds. Proportional control with the electrode. So if you can, uh, if the patient has good myocytes, you uh, should be able to pick up the electrodes and utilize the hand. So Mr. Stark, what do you see that you would be able to do with this hand um, other than the, your previous hand? Well, I think I'd be able to for example, just even zip my pants, which I can't, you know, hardly do because this is paralyzed, but I could do that. And uh, I think, you know, just um, uh, like she said, putting the clothes on, you know, because mm -hmm. this here is, is just, I got to put everything into it. Sometimes it's caught like in a jacket or something like that there. Mm -hmm. I could open it straight up like this here and, uh, uh, and you know, like close my thumb mm -hmm. like so. And then I could just slide my hand through the jacket instead of catching up on the on the lin uh, lining and stuff. But I think I could, it would uh, be more feasible than the auto box. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the, what I could do. I just it just I have to find out. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. You know, if it would be easier or be hard, I don't know. Just through time. Mm -hmm. so. He's manipulating the hand quite well uh, within the short period of time that he's, he's had it on. That's another one of the benefits of the, of the island. Hmm. Uh, the initial uh, patient uptake on it is, is pretty incredible. Yeah, I like it. 24 years I've had that. I like it. Well, thank you for being on our show and coming down here and trying it out and for you being here and staying sure. and Thank you. trying it on our patient. Thank you so much. And if anybody has any questions, please call us at 480-946-2286. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have about this. And um, we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome.